Hi, everyone. Um, welcome to Back to School Night for the 2020-2021 school year. Um, this is a little different. Um, I really love when we get to do this in person, but I know that this year we just can't do that and we're going to make the best of it. Um, uh, so let's get started. I want you to know all about your child's day and the types of things that they will be seeing and doing when they are in class with me. Okay. All right, let's check it out. So um, the in-person school days. So for your child, they will be with me Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, Friday from 1230 till three o'clock. Um, so, you know, they're with Mrs. Lulier in the morning, and then they come to me in the afternoon after lunch and recess. Um, so when the kids come in after lunch and recess, we are doing a daily rest time. The day is very long for them in kindergarten and coming off of the playground and lunch, they really need some time to kind of relax and rest their brains a little bit. We call it like a brain break, rest time. Um, I do not refer to it as nap time. They don't like it and neither do I because no one is actually napping. Um, so. Uh, usually I'll put something on the smart board, um, like a guided meditation. Sometimes we do yoga. Um, some days it might just be calming music and the lights off. Um, sometimes they'll ask me to watch like a Daniel Tiger and we'll watch, you know, some sort of a, a very slow and relaxing show. Um, but we do that every day right after lunch and recess. Um, once the kids are finished with their rest time, then we move to our day plans. And you get a chance to see those day plans uh, when they come home, um, but we always complete them before the work starts in here. It's a good way for us to uh, kind of go over what happened in the morning, um, get them used to that communication and you know recall for talking about what happened during their day. And then it's a great way for us to decide, you know, what are they working for in my class? I have uh, lots of toys that they can earn in here and they love all the toys, um, but I like that they discuss what they want to work for before they start doing their jobs. Um, every day that comes home, I know you've seen that. I ask that you please talk about it with your child at home. It's just a great way to, for them to reflect on their day. Um, you know, and just recall what happened. What did I learn? What did I play with? You know, anything like that really helps um, just connect what they are doing at school and, and discussing it at home. I want them to know that there is a great connection between school and home. Um, once they're finished their day plans, we usually jump right into our jobs. Um, they each have like an individual plan every day with jobs that they need to complete and those jobs reflect their IEP goals, and they also incorporate extension activities um, from their kindergarten class. Um, sometimes I'll be front-loading some of the material that they will see the following week in kindergarten, and sometimes the work that they're doing is just an extension on what they were doing in class. Um, we have uh, you know, such great support, paraprofessional support in here, and it's a smaller group. So we can really slow down and and do things at a pace where we can incorporate things from occupational therapy. We can incorporate things from speech and kind of uh, really hone in on the skills that we need to work on in here. Um, you know, our time really allows for that, which is wonderful. Um, every day we do have snack. I try to save that till about two o'clock every day. Um, once they're finished their jobs. So when they've done their work, um, you know, that, that, that main work session, then we take a little break and have a snack. Um, I know all of you have already really been doing this. You guys pack, pack plenty of snacks, um, which is great. And I, everyone who's with them at lunch knows just to hold one of the snacks for the afternoon, and it's fabulous. Um, I also have some things here like pretzels and goldfish, just in case there's a day where maybe they were really hungry at lunch or maybe uh, they're still hungry in the afternoon. I do have things here um, for that in, in, in case something like that happens. Um, let's see, prayer professional support. We have awesome support in here. You know, we have Miss Debbie, we have Miss Meredith, we have Miss Heather, we have Miss Roberta, um, we have who else comes in? Oh, Miss, can't forget Miss Debbie. We have Miss Debbie. Um, 
they kind of come in and out at certain points during our afternoon. Um, and it really is nice to have everyone's support. Um, for parent communication, um, on those days that we are in school in person, I ask that you uh, send an email if there's something that you you that comes up or something that you want to talk about. Please send an email. I'll get that right away. Um, if it's something that is a phone call, even if you just send me an email really quick and let me know like, hey, give me a call. I'll get back to you as soon as I can the next time that I have a break in my day. Um, if it's an absolute emergency, contact the office, the office will get a hold of me, okay? Um, and that's really it for our in-school in person, in-person days. Um, we have a lot of fun in here. I adore these kids. They are, they are my, my school family, you know? And so far, I love how, how involved all of you are with their in-person days. Um, I think it's gonna be a great year. Virtual Wednesday. So we've already had virtual Wednesday. So you kind of have seen, you know, how it goes. Everything is on Google Classroom. Um, Mrs. Lulier has her Google Classroom and Miss Elise, and you know, they have their jobs that they will complete for the morning. And all of my things will be completed. You know, I think we have 11 o'clock to 11.30 are our meetings, but there will also be jobs that they have to do at home too. Um, you do not have to have those jobs completed for our meeting unless it says so in their blue folder. Um, so if it's something that needs to be done, you know, before the meeting starts, I will clip a little note on there that just says, please finish this before the meeting starts. Um, there is time in your built into their day between the morning work and the afternoon work that they can complete their jobs for me if you wanna get it all done in the morning, that's fine. If it's one of those days and it can't get done, that's fine, just please write me a note, send me an email, something, it's fine. If you cannot make a meeting and you know ahead of time, just send me um, a quick email just letting me know. Um, we could see if maybe we could move around the time. Um, but as, if I know ahead of time, then we can make that work. Um, you'll work one-on-one -on -one with me during their time. At this point, we're only doing very short one-on-one -on -one, um, meetings. I want to work up our stamina a little bit in the beginning. Let's start small and let's let's build on try to be successful with a short meeting. And if we can, as the year goes on, we can start to make those times a little bit longer. But for right now, let's just keep those meetings short. Uh, so that the, your child can feel successful during them and attend and focus and all of those things. Um, on Wednesdays, I have time built into my schedule, um, you know, for parent communication. So if there is anything that you wanted to discuss or talk about, let me know before Wednesday or Wednesday, and I can set up a time to call you uh, during the day on Wednesday. All right. I think that is all that I have for you for now, if you have any questions for me, please reach out um, anytime. Uh, I will answer them the best I can. Um, and it's going to be a great year. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited to work with your child. Uh, it's going to be a great year. All right. Thank you so much.